If you need to fix shading issues on curved geometry, you can use the normal transfer tool. Normal transfer is a modal wrapper around the data transfer modifier, using stash objects as the modifier's source and creating a vertex group on the fly to mask the current selection. To use it, make a selection of the affected areas. Make sure to not select faces belonging to bevels. Switching to a shiny mat cap can be helpful to see what's happening. Bring up the mesh machine menu and choose transfer from the normal sub menu. You can alt scroll to change the alpha of the stash wire. You can also press X to toggle X-ray. Press D to toggle the end result. If you set apply mod to false using the A key, the data transfer modifier will be available in the stack once you confirm the tool using the left mouse button or the space bar. Again, don't select the bevel geometry itself. If you have a perimeter face loop from the offset tool or from a plug, you can easily loop select it, grow the selection once and loop deselect the bevel. You can scroll with the mouse or use the 1 and 2 keys to select a stash. Stashes used for normal transfer, don't have to be complete meshes. Partial meshes, even ones consisting of just a few faces, are fine. Without a perimeter face loop, just loop select the outer face loop of a bevel, grow the selection, and loop deselect two face loops of the bevel. You can see how, even with relative low resolution geometry and end gons everywhere, you can easily get perfect shading, as long as you have kept or created an undisturbed source mesh. You can also fix normals on surfaces, that are offset from the source surface. Based on my tests, the projected mapping type works best for these cases. Shift scroll to change the mapping. If you look at this, even though the matching cylindrical stash is chosen, the normals are still wrong. They are in fact, inverted. That's because the stash was created from a cylinder, that was used for a boolean difference, and so its normals are facing outwards. The resulting surface here however, points inwards, and so you need to flip the stash normals using the F key. If your shading issues are caused by plugs, you will have vertex groups to easily make the required normal transfer selections. 
the fastest way to select vertex groups is using the vSelect tool. Check out the vSelect video for details. Here's something interesting you can do with wedge-like details. What a mess this shading is. Perfect. Finally, understand that the data transfer modifier, and with it the normal transfer tool, does not respect hard edges in your selection. So if you try to transfer normals here, there will be smoothing going across the sharps at the outsides. One way to work around this is by first splitting the sharp edges using Blender's RIP tool, and later merging the verts of these edges again. Merging can then be done using the Remove Doubles tool. I'm using the Cleanup tool in Machine Tools. <laughs>